Hello and welcome to the Morello showroom in Schlüsselfeld, northern Bavaria. This is uh, where Morello produces these liners, shall I say, motorhomes, I'll stick with the proper word. And this is the loft liner. And now the first thing you're thinking, I know perfectly well what it is, and that is how much does it cost? In this case, we're looking, there you are, nice big numbers for you. 346,500, but the starting price is just over a quarter of a million euros. So for a third, in fact, more than a third of a million euros, what is one going to get? This, of course, does include all of these extras, which you can see here, and the most expensive of which isn't, is this, isn't it? No, it's not, it's this, a TV, that's a TV packet, 80, uh, eight and a half thousand euros energy lithium packet including one 210 amp combi um, charger inverter three kilowatts um, anyway good right let's go and have a look inside first and then maybe have a think about things of that nature right so bed up front large lounge this is called the the bar layout somebody explained to me why it was called a bar layout unfortunately i have forgotten why a large kitchen with two sinks and this is the sort of thing i find particularly attractive because this has got a widthwise bed and you can close yourself off in in the bedroom like that or you can leave the or you can leave the bedroom <laughs> open it might be handy closing it if you've got people up front but this gives all of this uh room in here i think this is very good use of space and but one thing i don't think it's such good use of space is this i mean what's the point of that it's gonna be here, use it for storage, which means it has to be closed because the vehicle is designed to move. Gives you a look in there and we'll have a look down here as well. And a place to keep your socks, I suppose. There's the television up here, there. Right, so the bed itself, there you go, comes from this company, Water Gel and uh, it's a foam, actually not a water one. I need to point out it's a foam. Uh, and it's two, there's two separate mattresses there. Now, if you don't want two separate mattresses, I don't know if it is an option. They have one mattress. I personally don't like two because I tend to sink in the in between the two of them. Um, it might, however, be easier to get um, a cover for them. Now, why is the two? It's because this one here has got this odd shape. And well, it's not really odd because you need it to get in, but um, that's the way it's that shape. All right, let's have a look under that bed. Let's lift the whole thing up. There you go. There's the Frovi system, a Frovi system, I should say, and there's the other uh, mattress. As you can see, it's a pretty thick mattress, though, isn't it? Anyway. And there's your step up into bed and your path round. Now, this has been used uh, by Morello for a number of years in this layout. Air more storage down there, which brings me now onto the subject of the dressing room, which is absolutely enormous. There we go. So there, I have never seen a dressing room this size before. Look at that, you have a game of cricket down there. Yeah, absolutely wonderful. Oh, brilliant. Right, shower. How can I demonstrate the shower? I know, I can point, them. I can point the thing at me. I'm not even standing in the shower. See how high it, not, not that way. I can see how high it is. And width, it comes to there. 
shape. It's not square shape, but that is really brilliant. Glass. Heating here. Wow. Now, what about it's, it's a dressing room? So you're expecting you your clothes there. And the skylight. This really appeals to me. Now, there's one thing that doesn't appeal to me, and that's the width 240 centimeters. So that's a little bit too. I would have difficulty with that, which is a pity. But could it be made a bit thinner just for me? Maybe they could just shave a bit off the ends. Who knows? So this one here comes with one of these awful coffee machines and a place to put your awful coffee uh, capsules. I say coffee, I use it in a very loose sense of the word. Three burners. This Thetford is, I've been used in a number of liners, I've noticed. I've Deathless use it, Concord use it. And it, it's sort of been recessed like that. It's quite, it's quite, it's quite good. Uh, here we have two burners with a domestic uh, sink. These things are pretty heavy, but supremely elegant. Oh, one thing I forgot to add. Uh, was this thing here will actually come out and if you want to sort of wash your hair uh, or something other, you know, sort of pick it up and whatever do it is i remember that from 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 this here now uh, under this we have these bins i don't know And on the other side, there is space for more socks and suits. Obviously, wouldn't we want to be seen on the campsite without a suit on? Uh, oven here, it's a microwave and, and it's electric, I notice, as well. Microwave and uh, conventional. There we have a fridge freezer that opens two ways. And for those that say I never open the fridge, there you go. And beneath that, there is also something in the way of storage. Now, what I find particularly interesting about this is th this would be great for me, for example, for work. Anybody has to work uh, from a vehicle. This bar layout, I think, is particularly useful. And... Uh, uh, it can be equipped with uh, electric here points here that could actually have them you could even arrange now for a from your uh, inverter to have electric points I note for down here for example there are USBs and shore power and uh, I would have them put in here as well or maybe one of these pop-up things that, so that's that that I think for working is just great would you need a long lounge like that well you'd have to decide if that would be necessary or not uh, huge Garmin screen here wonderful uh, panoramic view for the driver um, On this side, there's only, sorry, there isn't a door. There's only one door in the entire vehicle. And I personally think that's good for security. It means that the, the, the door itself can be not only made more secure, but also I think the vehicle in, in general is better like that. However, there are those who claim that you need to have a driver's side door to get the petrol. Oh, yeah, sorry, not the petrol, the diesel, and so showing my age, and uh, it's for security. I, I sort of reject the security argument, but there could be times when it is more secure to have to. I accept that. Okay, here we have. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Pull out pantry. There's two pull out pantries. And. Uh, 
and here we've got all electrical controls for the uh, vehicle including the 12 volt which is controlled from there there's your Aldi heating uh, you can see this what's happening solar system up there and quite a lot of electronics for those who want such things and as you come in of course you can see yourself in the mirror or as you leave you can straighten your tie because you certainly wouldn't want to be seen without a straight tie on a campsite right all the way back there you go it's flat floor from the front to the very end and the very wide corridor that's what the extra width is for even between the drivers and passenger seats you've got this wide corridor all the way back the gas is uh, down that's an unusual place to put it but why not it's easily accessible height internal well it's it's pretty it's pretty high i'll turn the thing out there we go see Oops. see i'm not even plenty of height so i'm one meter 75 i can put it into um perspective let's have a look outside With a garage of this nature, you can store huge amounts of kit. Now, this has got a maximum of 250 kilos, which is a bit less actually than some of its competitors. It's also only got one large door. Uh, that one is uh, somewhat smaller. There's your inverter combi charger. So I have a separate inverter. In fact, I've got two inverters in mine and a separate charger so that's probably um, possibly better to have just the one although well, mind you that's three kilowatts mine's four although i bet that one's better okay here We've got the water dump, including the uh, septic tank dump, which uh, you have to make sure you're a good shot for that because I went to the place here and I noticed that one or two people had missed and then not cleaned up after them. Just, just making that point here for anybody using the Stellplatz, which is here. There's your gas. And here, you can see how deep it goes if they're carrying long things in there, such as scaffolding, for example, if you want to carry a pile of scaffolding with you. You never know, you might, you might want to build something. So, whilst I'm here, I'll show you around one or two other vehicles, such as this one here, the Palace Liner. And for a, an approximate price for something like this, you're looking at around, kickoff sound half a million euros. Kickoff, I said, I didn't say uh, that was what this one is gonna cost. So got a similar layout, the front, we've got this carpet, kitchen's almost the same. I think this is a used one, even though it's exceptionally nice condition. And we've got this bed approach, uh, which is, um, well, enormous bed. You've also here you've got the, yeah, you can see this is used now, but only, uh, only, <laughs> yeah, uh, it, 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 it's, it's very, being kept in wonderful condition. 
obviously the carpet doesn't actually come with it so i presume that was somebody who did it i i put towels down on the floor although if i suppose i've had something this elegant i probably want to put uh get a carpet as well yeah it has you can just tell it's been used but hardly at all wonderfully well kept And I don't think there'll be much difference between the cost of this vehicle and whatever it was when it was first uh, first bought. In fact, in the current market, there's hardly any depreciation, even on things that cost as much as these vehicles do. Can I get in here? No, I can't, so I need the code. You see, it's code entry for something like this. And look at that enormous garage. Oh. That looks like a washing machine to me. Wow. 250 kilos. Right. We'll have a go on this one now as well. So this is the palace. Morello Palace. 381,460. The kickoffs are just over a quarter of a million. It's got all of this extra stuff in it. The energy packet, once more, is the most expensive. No, it isn't. The chassis packet, uh, which is a motor uh, upgrade, the, the gearbox, uh, leather stuff inside, 10,400. That's an option. Right, so here we've got more traditional type, well, I wouldn't say more traditional, but it's a, a central table lounge. And once more though, with this absolute, with an absolutely enormous bed at the back. This bed is slightly, it's obviously designed as a lengthwise bed. And it's got another enormous washroom, dressing room, sorry. I noticed that once more, for those wanting this to come out, this comes out. That's a pretty large uh, motorhome, uh, palace, uh, Morello Palace, and uh, it's a 2022 model. Oh, sorry, I didn't see they're all on the Iveco daily. Right, we'll come over here and we'll have a look at this one here, which is the uh, another palace. Okay, not to open that. Hey, let's just put the lights on. Where's the lights? I think this is one of the earlier, uh, the earliest designs that they did. So this, uh, I think, is probably around 2012 something of that nature nice 2013 i don't know i'm just uh i'm just guessing also with a um sort of bar layout isn't it well, not really <laughs> but uh l-shaped l-shaped lounge and this is very similar to the one now done by um, Thetford. Oh, Spinflow was a uh, Thetford brand, as I recall.
Oh, we can get we can get in this one as well. A loft liner. Acorn in the roof. So, which of them do you prefer? That is the question. For the used models, I would suggest that it's a case of price on application. And uh, anyway, that sort of gives you a quick overview. And so I'll take you back to the one I started off with. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, oh, before I do that, though, look, I'll jump, show you out here. This is the um, this is the manufacturing plant. Service centres over there. As I recall, I think they have another manufacturing unit behind, but the, the main factory, as such, is out the back here. So good. Uh, so if you're interested, there's plenty more of these uh, on my site and if you're interested then you might want to subscribe and if you're not then you won't thanks for watching